you know, Tony actually ran about even, got about the same number of votes as uh, Richard Murdoch, uh, who was probably potentially, uh, you know, Andy mentioned kind of this disastrous Republican recruitment. Uh, he or Aiken could probably be the poster child for this. And Tony Bennett, on the other hand, is in, 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 in Indiana, a, uh, ba a former basketball coach from downstate with big money uh, and a record of accomplishment, and he ran even with Murdoch? I mean, it's astonishing. And I think what happened was two things. Uh, one, we talked about a little bit, that some of the reform agenda uh, that, you know, that Andy and I tend to celebrate uh, doesn't necessarily connect with a lot of middle class and suburban voters. So a lot of the Republican base doesn't necessarily get very excited about stuff like uh, value added and merit pay and some of these other reforms. And then the other big piece here, which is actually uh, should be taken very seriously by uh, the would-be reformers, uh, is that Common Core really blew up in Indiana. Andy already alluded to this, that you saw um, you know, a whole bunch of Tea Party-style conservatives um, voting the same way as the teacher unions in a pushback measure here. And what, what has happened, I would argue, when you talk to you know, backbench Republican legislators in states like Indiana, is that they have now clearly come to see the Common Core as one more Obama administration initiative. It's cash for clunkers. Uh, it is uh, the Affordable Care Act. Um, and this is part of that litany. Uh, that This is partly due to uh, the ESEA blueprint proposals. It's partly due to race to the top. It's partly due to waivers. It's certainly due to the fact that uh, the, the, the Democratic National uh, Committee platform writers uh, who are obviously people selected by, you know, who are working hand in hand with the Obama reelection team, chose to mention, uh, chose to celebrate the president's leadership on Common Core in the Democratic National Platform. Uh, and it's owed to the fact that uh, Secretary Duncan and the president like to speak about this and uh, come damn close to taking credit for it. So what has happened, I've argued actually that a Romney victory would have probably been better for the Common Core folks because it would have kind of drawn the poison uh, out of the, uh, it would have drawn the poison from the debate. But I think right now, those folks who are championing the Common Core need to deal with the fact uh, that this is seen in many red states uh, as, a, as an increasingly partisan issue. Um, and Jeb Bush flying out to give a speech uh, does not alleviate that fact. 